guys <clears throat> so that was kind of a little bit of a comical video for you but uh i didn't think you guys would mind seeing it it's just funny answers that kids have put in there before i actually do remember that at one point this was um one of my first years teaching somebody drew a picture of a llama and said you know i think it was mr lily at the time it was one of my friends who, who teaches he said mr lily i can't answer this question because there's a llama on the way so i just thought that was funny because you can't you can't make this stuff up but here we go uh, we just finished 1201 through 1203, and now we're going to jump into volume of a three-dimensional object. Now, here's the thing. It's still the same basic idea. We have formulas that we're going to take a look at, but uh, let's get going and see how we do. So volume of a prism is going to be area of base times height. Now, if it's a rectangular base, okay, you can kind of pick which one you'd like to work with. Now, up top, I'm going to use the 5 and the 7 as this top rectangle as my base. So the area of the base is 5 times 7, and my height is the distance between them is 6. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and do 5 times 7 times 6, 210 meters cubed. Now here's the big thing, and I believe this is the first time you guys are experiencing this all year. Volume is measured in cubed unit, cubic units, not square units. Okay, so please just keep that in mind. Okay, now, <clears throat> for part B, this is a triangular prism. So what I'm looking for here is uh, volume equals the area of my base is 1 half, 5 times 12, and the height is the distance between them, which in this case is 6. All right, so again, if you're looking to put 1 half in your calculator, I always use 0.5, it just seems easier. Parentheses 5, parentheses 12, parentheses 6. And we get 180 centimeters cubed. Okay? Awesome. Now, <clears throat> find the volume of a cylinder. Okay, well, if I'm going to refer it up top of my notes, the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. I love these problems. Okay, these problems are way easy. What you're looking for here is what's my radius and the height's the distance between them. So if I look here, my radius is just 3. It's half my uh, distance across my circle. So pi 3 squared times 25, okay? So back in my calculator, if I hit second caret, I can get my pi symbol, three squared, times 25. So it says around the nearest whole number, 707 meters cubed. Cool, it's 707. 
Um, now, here's the only curveball I can throw at you with these problems. Again, my volume is pi r squared h. Okay, so volume equals pi. Do I want to use 10? Hopefully not. You don't, you're not saying yes to that because my radius is 5. And then my height is 17. Okay, so back to my trusty calculator. Pi 5 squared times 17. My volume is equal to 1,335 centimeters cubed. There you go. Okay, all's good. All right, on to the back. Okay, now um, for this one, volume of a pyramid, volume of a cone, one third area of base times height. So it's basically the same thing, but we're doing one third of it. Okay. So if we take a look at our first volume of a pyramid for number three, um, the volume of our base, our capital B, is if you look at our base, it's this triangle. So it's one half, four times six. Uh, half of four is two, two times six is 12 meters squared. So there's my area of my base. The height is straight up. So in this case, it's eight. So uh, my volume is one third, area of the base is 12, and then my height is eight. Okay, now I want to make sure that I'm using the correct fraction here. So I'm going to put parentheses one over three. Don't put 0.33 because that's not accurate enough. Um, 32. So volume is 32 meters cubed. Okay, awesome. Here, okay, our, our volume again is going to be one third area of base times height. One third, this one's a little bit easier. Our base is a square. So nine times nine, or nine squared, times my height, which straight up is 12. Okay, so again, parentheses, one divided by three. Nine times nine, times 12. 324 yards cubed. Wonderful, okay. On to the very last spot here then, the volume of a cone. Um, if we look up top, okay, my volume is, I'm just going to jot this down so we have it for reference, one-third pi r squared h, okay? So again, the only difficulty you're really going to find is what is your radius? So one-third pi, my r is 5, I'm going to square that, and my h is 6. This is all calculator work, which is one of the reasons why this is such a nice chapter. One third pi uh, five squared and then times six. So we're rounding to the nearest whole number. So one hundred fifty seven yards cubed. Okay. <coughs> Pardon me. And finally, okay, volume equals one third pi r squared h. Volume equals one third pi. My r is seven squared. Uh, my h is twenty one. Okay. So parentheses one third pi seven squared twenty one. Volume equals one thousand seventy eight centimeters cubed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that about sums it all up. Okay, volume's a little bit easier, I think, the surface area. But, again, you'll have all these for reference later on, so please feel free to keep them, keep good notes. Um, and as always, good luck. We're all counting on you.